Properties and Applications of Electromagnetic Waves By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Describe the properties of electromagnetic waves Describe the applications of electromagnetic waves Describe the detrimental effects of excessive exposure to certain components of the electromagnetic spectrum. Hello, Ma. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. A person can receive and answer a call via the cellular phone. How is it possible to transfer voices from a caller to a receiver? Electromagnetic waves are emitted whenever electrons are oscillated. These waves consist of a fluctuating electric field accompanied by a fluctuating magnetic field of the same frequency and phase. The electric and magnetic fields of an electromagnetic wave are perpendicular to each other and to the direction of propagation of the wave. Hello. Hello. Properties of electromagnetic waves include The magnetic and electric field components of the wave oscillate at right angles to each other and to the direction of propagation of the wave. Electromagnetic waves are neutral and cannot be diverted by electric and magnetic fields. Electromagnetic waves do not require a medium to propagate and can travel through a vacuum. In a vacuum, the electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light. Electromagnetic waves obey the wave equation, speed equals to frequency multiplied by wavelength. Electromagnetic waves exhibits reflection, refraction, diffraction, and interference. Electromagnetic waves can be polarized. Electromagnetic waves can transfer energy. Click on the boxes to learn about each property. The electromagnetic spectrum consists of electromagnetic waves of different frequencies and wavelengths. Different group of waves have different characteristics due to the different wavelengths and frequencies. Radio waves are produced in a variety of ways such as alternating currents in metal antennas. Radio waves forms a spectrum consisting of different wavelengths and frequencies. What are radio waves used for? Higher frequencies of radio waves are necessary to provide enough energy where more information can be carried. Radio waves are used as the carrier wave widely used in broadcasting and communication. Move cursor along the spectrum to see the application of each spectrum. Long wave of very low frequency and low frequency and medium wave or medium frequency radio waves are long enough wavelength to diffract around the hills and buildings. These waves permit clear broadcast at hilly areas. Short wave or high frequency permits a broadcast 
to travel thousands of kilometers without interference from mountains and other obstacles. Very high frequency and ultra high frequency radio waves can accommodate wide band waves of broadcast signals. They are widely used in television broadcasts. Super high frequency and extremely high frequency are short wavelength radio waves. They are utilized in radar and microwave ovens. What are the bad effects of excessive exposure to radio waves? Excessive exposure to radio waves, such as those emitted by the radio wave transmitters and power lines, may cause leukemia and cancer. Telephone signals are also said to inhibit the melatonin hormone and can cause insomnia, headaches, nausea and vertigo, earache and tinnitus, frequent nosebleeds and raised white blood cell count. Microwaves are produced by electronic circuitry. The frequency of microwaves is higher than that of radio waves as microwaves have shorter wavelength. Thus, microwaves have higher energy and penetrating power than radio waves. What are microwaves used for? Microwaves are widely used in satellites, radar and cellular telephones. TV signals are beamed to satellite using microwaves as carrier waves. Satellite links make broadcasting of live events on TV possible across the world. This can happen because microwaves have shorter wavelength than normal TV carrier frequencies. Thus, the waves can be directed in a narrow beam from Earth to the satellite and back to another part of the Earth. Microwaves are used to transmit TV and telephone signals via small metal dish aerials on towers. What is the effect of overdose exposure of microwaves? It has been reported that prolonged eating of food cooked or heated up in microwave ovens can cause cancer cells to increase in human blood, loss of memory and concentration, emotional instability, and decrease of intelligence. This may be because nutrition in food cooked or heated up in microwave ovens is decreased when food molecules are rotated by microwaves to generate heat. The surfaces of all bodies emit infrared radiation in a continuous range of wavelength. The hotter the object is, the greater the energy per second is carried away by infrared radiation. Infrared penetrates smoke and dust better than visible light. What are the benefits of infrared radiation? It is widely used in household appliances and night vision devices such as rifles, cameras and binoculars. Infrared radiation is used in sauna treatment to treat cancer. Infrared lamps are used for the treatment of muscular complaints and to dry the wet paints on cars. Remote control keypads for television and video recorders use infrared signaling. Very sensitive infrared detector such as photoelectric devices is used to detect the infrared emitted by a person buried alive in a collapsed building and to locate victims of earthquakes. What are the detrimental effects of infrared radiation? Infrared radiation causes an increase of internal energy which usually results in a temperature rise when absorbed by matter. This is why the skin experiences heat irritation when exposed to infrared rays. Light is detected by cells in the eye retina. This enables us to see things.
Visible light can also be detected chemically with photographic film and electronically by using semiconductors. The high frequency of light makes it ideal for transmitting information. What are the advantages of visible light rays? It is widely used in optical fibers and photography. An optical fiber communication system can carry telephone conversations, internet links and video conferencing signals. Bundles of optical fibers are used to carry images back from previously inaccessible places, especially inside the human body using an endoscope. Chlorophyll in green plants absorbs most of the violet, blue, orange and red light that falls on them and uses the energy for photosynthesis. What are the detrimental effects of visible light rays? Excessive exposure to sunlight can lead to adverse health effects such as the pain of sunburn, headache, lumbago, insomnia, leukemia or skin cancer. Thus, one should not focus directly at high-intensity light sources such as welding sparks or the sun. Ultraviolet rays are produced by sunlight and mercury vapor lamps. The very short wavelength of ultraviolet rays has very high energy and penetrating power. How are ultraviolet rays used in our daily lives? It is widely used in fluorescent lamps and sterilization. Ultraviolet stimulates vitamin D production in the skin and causes tanning of the skin. UV spectroscopy is used in pharmaceutical industry to analyze drugs and in dentistry to polymerize materials used in some fillings. It is also used to detect forged bank notes. Bees can detect UV light and flowers attract the bees with beautiful patterns that are invisible to human eyes. How are ultraviolet rays harmful to living things? Wavelength ultraviolet radiation or UVA penetrates very deeply and causes skin to sag and wrinkle prematurely. Excessive exposure to short wavelength ultraviolet radiation or UVB is harmful and can cause skin cancer. The ozone layer in the Earth's atmosphere absorbs almost all of the very short wavelength ultraviolet radiation, or UVC. An ultraviolet lamp should never be viewed directly as ultraviolet ray is harmful to the eyes. X-rays are generated by the rapid deceleration of high-speed electrons projected against a metal target. X-rays have high kinetic energy, thus the penetrating power of X-rays are also high. What are the applications of X-rays? X-rays are used in medical imaging and security systems at airports. As bones absorb X-rays more strongly than flesh, medical doctors can see the conditions of bones in the human body with the help of the X-ray photograph. Dentists use the same technique to treat their patients. In the industrial world, X-ray scanners are used to detect minute flaws in heavy metal equipment. What are the bad effects of X-rays? X-rays are harmful as they are a form of ionizing radiation. Excessive exposure to the X-rays can break DNA chains and cause cells to die or mutate the DNA. Mutated cells may become cancerous. Gamma rays are produced by excited nuclei releasing energy during radioactive decay. Gamma rays have very high energy and penetration power. What are gamma rays used for? 
Gamma rays are used to trace the flow of fluids to kill cancer cells and microorganisms in food. They can also be used to sterilize medical equipment. What are the bad effects of excessive exposure to gamma rays? Gamma rays are destructive to living cells. They kill cells of organisms. Normal exposure to gamma rays can also damage the cells. Excessive exposure to gamma rays can cause genetic mutations, especially in reproductive cells. IR binocular Light Click and drag the binoculars to student A. Click the torchlight once to switch it off. Observe the images that can be seen using the binoculars. The image of an object can be seen by using the IR binocular due to the temperature of the body. Different brightness on different parts of the body show different temperatures.